Okay, so basically a lot of people do not know how to use console applications and have received a lot of questions about them, so I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to use them. This method works on all versions of Windows, so if you're running XP, Vista, etc., it will work. Uh, there are a couple of reasons why people would use console, would use and make console applications. They're easier to code, they're more efficient and use less resources, like less RAM, processing power, stuff like that. And also, uh, console applications are a lot quicker to use in some cases, because typing is easier to use GUIs um, for some applications. So for instance, if you open an application like, let's say, John the Ripper, right here, it may briefly flash in front of your screen when you open it. That's an indication that it is a console application. To open this application, you need to use command prompt. And in XP and all the earlier versions, you type in the flag key and then R, which will bring up the run. And you just type in CMD, hit OK, and you'll get command prompt. Or in Windows Vista and Windows 7, stuff like that, where you have the search option, you just type in CMD and enter. And it'll come out. OK. Right here is the current fi uh, folder location, C, users, and the X number. Right here, this is the folder that your application is in, desktop slash John the Ripper is where, is where it is in the X folder. So to do this, you will need to navigate to the same place. You type in C, D, and then the f difference in uh, location, which is desktop slash John the Ripper. And you should enter. At this point, uh, you can actually execute the program, which is john.exe. So what you need to do is you need to type in the, the name before the extension, which is just john, and it'll and just hit enter, and it'll run that application. So as you can see, when I ran the application, here's all the information you get right here. Um, when you run applications, it's a good idea the first time you run it to get the help file. And when you either run the application, just type in john, you'll get the help which these are all the, these are all the commands you can execute or you can type in like John um, you can type in like John H which might give the help file or John help it depends on the application but you could try them all when you first start now to execute these commands right here you need to type in the application name again every time you want to execute a different command you need to type in the application name and then just copy down exactly what they want so for instance dash dash show in this case, this needs you to load a file, so I need to be like show and then specify a file name. So for instance, I'm going to go into my stuff, which is a folder, and I'm going to load the shadow file. So I do show my stuff shadow. This time you do need the extensions, so in this case it will load um, this file right here, which is giving you a username and a hash, a password hash and it's decrypting it based on a dictionary attack. Um, so for instance, if the shadow.txt was in the same folder as John, you would not need this stuff right here. But since it's in a different folder, you do need to specify this. Now let's say John the Ripper application is here in the John the Application John the Ripper folder, but the file you want to open is in desktop. Your best bet is to either move it into the John the Ripper folder or a folder inside the John the Ripper folder. Is executing full uh, files in a folder previous to here is not really fun. It should be in this, the same directory or a subdivision of that folder. What you actually need to type in all depends on what the applic what type of application you're running. But some applications like this one, you can just type in John and then the fi folder file location and just hit enter. And in some cases, it's saying no password has is located because I actually have to go through this process to do stuff. But in some applications, this is all you will need to do. So, for instance, if you're like converting files, you just need to type in the application name and the file location that you want to convert, depending on what it is. And that's pretty much it.